Hi there, it's uh, Chris from uh, Sixth Street Oak Arena. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, bass oak arenas here. Um, these two are both in the key of E, uh, which is, uh, let's see, C, D, E, three steps higher than, uh, two steps higher than what would be um, a Boudreau number seven. Uh, I guess they call this double bass. Um, I wheel throw these. So that's why they end up in kind of odd keys. I wheel throw it up this way first, let it stiffen, flip it over, re-put it on the potter's wheel, recenter the whole thing, and then throw it up this way. Take it off, you know, later on, hand build on the mouthpiece, and then, of course, cut the fiddle and tune them and everything. Let me play this one a little bit. <laughs> So that one just plays one octave. There's no thumb holes on the bottom, just one chromatic octave. So this is the same here. So this one is a G sharp, which is, if this was in G, it would be the same as a number um, six. Oh no, that's not right. It would be a um, six. Six boot reel Karina. So that one has um, two thumb holes on the bottom, which give you one octave plus just one whole step, so two half steps on the bottom. This one's in the key of C, which would be the same as a, a Boudreau number five. that one plays octave plus one note. Let me swing around the other side and I'll let you get a little closer look at these. Um, so that one, the whole size on this one isn't too bad, um, but definitely need some pretty good sized fingers for it. That's also true with this one. The whole size similar to like a Boudreau, uh number C or number five uh, C. I use the kind of oval shaped pipple on those. <clears throat> this is the little bit bigger one. So that one, you do start to get a little bit concerned about the size of the holes. Pretty good size holes on that. This one's got a little bit more of an oval hole shape, which makes it a little bit easier to get that hole covered. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Thank you.